But yeah, uh... Chasm's probably gonna end before before we go on our trip. Uh, but... That frees up a slot that I don't have to think about, period. Oh, there's an area that I haven't, uh, reached yet. Let's see, shoot it. No, you gotta, you gotta push it. Um... But, you know, it frees up a slot so I can record all of my other series that I need to do. From Kingdom Hearts to Octopath and whatnot. Plus the uh, handful of new games that are kind of coming up in but uh, beforehand. Are my neighbors keeping me up? No, actually, they've been, um, they're kind of loud in the afternoons now. But, obviously, I can't get mad at them for it. Uh, I've just always been a night owl. Like, usually, usually I'd go to bed sometime or around now to like an hour from now or something. So these guys are just kind of the upgraded version of the boomeranger uh, dudes from earlier. Not actually terribly threatening. Hey, we're up to 51 damage on the sword. Which is still chump change, but... You just gotta stay away from them so they don't hit you in the face. Okay, seriously though, stop giving me directions. I, I can... I can explore a dungeon on my own, freely. Okay, so there's our third platinum ingot. Okay. Yeah, what we actually probably want to do is head for the garden teleporter on the very bottom. That's probably what we're missing here. Because, yeah, this is this is just the Die 20 room. No, it's not the Die 20 room, but I can't do it. That's the Die 20 room. Okay, that would explain things. So we want to go up. Because, yeah, there's a fine line between... Uh, being helpful in backseat gaming, um, being helpful is when I'm like, hey, I can't figure out where to go, please tell me. Backseat gaming is being like, okay, I'm gonna tell you where everything is, uh, step by step, let me, let me, uh, effectively act like your personal GPS. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, like, tightrope that everybody kind of has to walk with things like this. Um, but it's kind of, it's awkward, and I get, like, trying to be helpful is really important. Oh, that's a clutch level up. Uh, but it's frustrating for me, especially when I'm tired to see, want to do this, want to do this, want to do this, because... Oh, I should have known not to, not to try and sneak some hits in for. Any games coming soon that, uh, I'm really excited for? E yes I'm really excited for, um... I'm really excited for Dragon Quest XI and, um... and Spider-Man coming out soon. Those are... those are going to be good games. I think... yeah, they both come out in, like, really, really close, um... They both come out in re really close proximity. Uh, they also come out almost immediately after I get back from my trip, which is going to be kind of nice. Effectively, uh, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to Seattle. I'll come back the night the Dragon Quest. I think it's Dragon Quest Eleven drops, and then I'm also going to uh, and then Spider Man comes out. But ideally, I will have nothing in my backlog save for the endless series that I already have, and like multiplayer and whatnot. Okay, let's test this. Okay, this is the one we wanted to go to. Uh, wait, a new Dragon Quest comes out soon? Yeah! Uh, comes out September 4th? Or Spider-Man comes out... Spider-Man or, or, uh, Dragon Quest XI come out at the, like, more or less the same week. Um, and I am, I am, like, absolutely, uh... I'm absolutely looking forward to that, because that'll be, that'll be kind of a nice, fun thing. Uh, let's check out the other side first before we go anywhere. Uh, 
here. Hype for Vesperia Definitive Edition. I don't know about Vesperia. My problem is whenever I try playing any of the Tales of games, I get to a certain point and I'm just like, bleh. But actually, no, it's not even the Tales of games. It was, it was, uh, was, was it Zesteria? Oh, new enemy. Huh. Those guys have weird faces. Uh, but I think it was... It was Zesteria, not Bersaria. Uh, I think it was Zesteria that I tried playing. Problem with it was, eventually they just introduced, like, the most annoying mascot character in existence. And I was just like, I don't... <laughs> nice daggers. Uh... I, I don't want to listen to this character. And he wouldn't go away for, like, multiple hours. And then I got my, like, face handed to me by a boss, and I was just like, well, I have comparatively lost... interest in in this right now. Zuda Ulak is the god of darkness whose hunger knows no end. The master has conquered many worlds by traveling through the spirit plane. From each world, a new piece of its army has been gathered. We are honored to have been chosen to serve Ulak. Okay, let's, uh, let's pop some healing potions. I'll go buy more between... Yeah, Zestiri isn't the best. Yeah, and the problem is that was the that was the most recent one that I played. And so uh so going from Vestir Zestiria to potentially uh Bursaria, I was just like, I just I can't bring myself to do it. And then everybody's like, but Bersari is amazing, and I was just like, eh. Come on. I'm like above the limit, but it still hits me. Uh, I'm just gonna ch keep chugging potions, because as far as I can tell, there's no, there's no save areas here. But Vesperia is very nice. Yeah, if it uh, if it fits in my into my schedule, I might consider it. Because um, if I remember right, pretty much all of them have been co-op except for Zestirian Bursaria, or maybe even Zestirian Bursaria. I don't really remember. And so I'd I'd absolutely love to do like a, a co-op JRPG with Shell. That'd be fun. I'm just going to kind of plow through much of this with with pure items. Cuz uh these enemies hurt real bad. <laughs> but this ha is what I've been saving up for this entire game. Vesperia isn't co-op. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I feel like I should go back. Yeah, let's go back for a second. I hate to do this, but there's that little room in the... Oh, he does that? Okay, so the those, those shield guys can throw. Throw lightning. And they shoot balls. Not very durable, though. Okay. Yeah, we gotta we gotta figure out what's down here. Not really that helpful, but uh, good to check anyway. All right, nothing. Let's see. Am I going to play Valkyria Chronicles sometime? I'm not going to play the first one. Uh, if I do play the first one, it'll be much later, but I will be playing Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, whenever that happens.
Okay, so I can kind of reasonably fight those guys. Wow, you got me anyway. So you wonder would you play MMOs with fans? Well, if you got WoW, I'm, uh, we're currently playing, uh, we're currently playing, uh, Battle for Azeroth. Like, as we, well, not as we speak, uh, but I've got an active series on it. Unfortunately, uh, it's one of those that we can only do occasionally, because MMOs are kind of viewership, uh, kryptonite. It always sucks a little bit. Oh, Manticore. Oh, I might need a tonic for this. Oh. Not a manticore, a chimera. I should really look up what the difference No, wait. That was absolutely a manticore. No, wait, no, 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 no. Never mind. Manticores chimeras are the ones with the snakehead tables. Manticores are the ones with the scorpion tails. Sorry. Mixing mixing up uh, a little bit harder than I want to. Okay, well. There's this one. Yeah, it is. It's nearing 3 o'clock. My monster identification skills are a, uh, a bit on the subpar side. What about the Destiny expansion? I don't, I don't know if I'm going to touch uh, Destiny again for a while. I Maybe when Destiny 2 is done, I'll probably take a look at it with Shell. Like, when they, when they announce Destiny 3, that's, that's when you'll uh, hear me uh, planning a series on it. And I'll probably, uh... I'll probably, like, uh... Bug Keith about that, preemptively. Because I think he has it at this point. And that way, uh... Keith, Shell, and myself can, can three-man through it. And then probably stop after just kind of experiencing some of the dungeons and stuff. Because unfortunately, uh... Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they're terribly interested in causing having your loot carry over from one game to the next. It sucks a bit, because, like, I would have absolutely uh, gone back and played through, like, Destiny 1, uh, so that my loot could carry over uh, to Destiny 2, but no. A chimera is actually an amalgamation of a lion, snake, and a goat. Not always. Sometimes it's just a lion head and a snake tail with, um, with wings. It looks like a bizarro, uh... It looks like a, a bizarro, uh, griffin. Which, sometimes griffins are, are different. Sometimes they're lion-headed, sometimes they're bird-headed. It gets murky. Hey, more platinum ingots. I might actually be able to make some platinum armor. I guess we might as well save my mana here and just wail on him. Is Wander using the scaling sword? Yes. It's not scaling particularly fast, but it, it does scale. Okay. Let's see, so this will get us the, the sight potion at the very least. Nope, it won't. God damn it. What am I missing? Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Top right. In that set. Well, I guess I gotta find out where to get that. Uh... This place needs save shrines. With save shrines... <laughs> You can top yourself off HP-wise. Can't really do that here. It's not so bad. It's just kind of inconvenient not being able to, uh, to go back and heal. At regular intervals. Like most other, uh, 
like most other regions. At least the Scaling Sword is doing minor amounts of extra damage. But yeah, I don't know. I like Destiny enough. It just... It didn't do very well on streams and, well, I wasn't really sure what they were doing. Um... Because they were definitely making some, like, odd choices. Okay, now, yes. So this gets us where we need to go. I can't believe I hit that. Okay, so th this way is open. So this might... Might open the direction that I need. I'll probably continue to use and abuse healing items here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh... Chug two of those. Probably would have been cheaper to chug a high potion. At this point, it might actually be more worthwhile for me to just have high potions in general. Okay, you're obnoxious. I'm sorry. I hate contact damage in video games. It just doesn't... it never feels good. It's just like, here's an enemy. Oh. Uh, here's an enemy. They're now inside you. You have to get out of the way. Oh, you got out of the way, now they hit you. Oh, this is... this is why I've got daggers. This is why I will gladly just dagger spam. My way to victory here. There we go. Lidori Warrior. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the tribal people. That we keep hearing about. Not a single save shrine in sight. Okay, that's a new one. I could really, really use a safe shot at some point. It won't happen. They just don't exist here. Okay, this is a treasure room. Actually, uh, let's check out what's in the bottom right first. You feel fortunate. More money. Kind of nice. Awkward placement, though. Okay. Uh, yep. There's so there's there's multiple. Of these. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use up my supply of regular potions and just save for high potions. What's he do? He does that. Ah, I guess it works. Ow. Well, do we have anything interesting on the other side of this? More snake, snake charmers. This is just going to be time consuming. It's a long trek over here. Holy crap. Hey, that's a good level up. There's more? There's more. How far does this go? There's a teleporter here. And there's nothing else. Ah! So I went the exact wrong direction. Maybe. We'll see. It looks like this does put us in a convenient spot. Which, like, this should actually open up the remaining gate. Probably.
Yeah, okay. This should open up the remaining gate. Probably. Yep, there it is. Unfortunately, it means we're gonna have to go back through that entire mess of stuff. Because we opened this up, yeah, but there's this whole area up here that I, I just... I foolishly just went straight through. Oh, that's okay. I can jump over some of these. Uh, I don't actually have to fight every enemy, especially because... Yeah, okay, they do give me extra uh, EXP. I was saying that I needed more of that. Uh, God damn. It's so much nicer now that I have a double jump. Like, seriously... I can't, uh, understate how nice it is to be able to double jump in a Metroidvania. They are... Like, it's it's not very fun playing Metroidvanias uh, without, like, a substantive jump system. It's so much easier to dodge, it's so much easier to get around, it's so much easier to platform. I wish they had actually given us the uh, double jump first, but I guess that would have probably made the level design much more much harder to do okay so we've done the lower area man I was I was feeling so clever getting through I'm like okay this is the secret super inconvenient path that gets me to the item right or the save shrine right and the answer is no. Ula commanded the shaman to find the most powerful warriors who live within this realm. They were chosen to defend its lair as our master grows in the fires below. We now wait the arrival of the Age of Darkness so that we may serve our master for eternity. Oh, okay, so you can just fall through those. Ooh, that would have been brutal if I had made a mistake. Alright, well, let's see what's over here. Money. Tokens. Tokens for gambling, which I'm real bad at slots. Okay. Yeah, the Lodori just don't have faces. Okay, we get the Emerald Ring. Uh, nothing else. Okay. And so all we have that's left is... Actually, we've pretty much cleared out the whole area, so whatever whatever's left is that one formula. And then nothing else. Let's keep chugging these potions. It's, uh... It feels real lame. It feels real lame to just be uh, constantly chugging potions. Sorry. I'm... I didn't know they could actually shoot straight. Huh. Yeah, it, it feels kind of lame just chugging potions like crazy to get through this, but yeah, without the uh, save shrines that I've been relying on this entire time, it actually feels really weird and kind of frustrating. What does the Emerald Ring do? Good point. Emerald Ring. Uh, six luck and maybe a little bit of uh, magic, but ain't worth it. It'd be nice if I was doing any more grinding. But I'm not- I'm not doing any more grinding. Uh, not for items. Anyway. Let's see. So where does this dump me? I actually forgot which one of these was the, uh... Was the way out. Cool. 
Okay. Yeah, I gotta remember I have a slow fall as well. Which makes it a little easier. It gives you healing potions, you're allowed to use them. Yeah, I mostly just feel weird because I'm, um, I'm quaffing so many. Uh, like, I've effectively farmed thousands of gold just to keep, uh, to keep myself alive for these runs. Uh, it's probably actually the other direction. Nope. Got it. Not exactly great at judging my jump height on some of these. But, you know, at this point, I only spend... I only spend, uh, money on potions, and it just... It just feels kind of disingenuous. Ish. Huh. Yeah, another person that says quaff. Uh, oh god, what game was it? Uh, was it one of the Ultima games? Uh, I think it was one of the Ultima games back when I was a kid. We used to we used to have a bunch of uh, share rare games on my um, on my dad's computer, and I want to say it was Ultima. I didn't know he could do that. I'm just taking damage left and right because I clearly don't understand the enemies I'm up against. Um, but. So, one of the... I don't even know if it was shareware. We might have actually had the full version. Uh, but so my dad would effectively... I don't know if he downloaded them off the internet or what. Uh, but he had a bunch of shareware, uh... You know, computer games on DOS. And we would, uh... We would... We would play them in lieu of, like, real games. So, for example, we had... The Commander Keen 1 through 5 demos. We had Commander King 1, but that was the only one. Okay, Sight Potion Recipe. Yeah, Neos, you, there's no way you would have been able to lead me to that... ...to that recipe, uh... ...without... ...this being really, really annoying. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, we, we didn't own any of the Commander King games. Now I do. Now I own all of them. Um... But, uh... Diamonds. Lots of diamonds. I'm actually fairly certain the diamonds are worth like a ton, so I might be able to sell them. Anyway, um... So yeah, we had we had a ton of shareware. Nope. Really have trouble telling when they're gonna do the melee attack instead. Uh... I am also much more tired than I, I should be for this. I'm probably just gonna go take one look at the boss and be like, meh. I guess I should probably also just be spam casting my daggers like crazy. Um, but so, I think it was like Ultima 2 or something like that. I, I really, I really cannot remember which, which game it was. Uh, I really wish I could remember, because it was kind of neat. You, like, for whatever reason, start out, um, in, like, your house, and for some reason I think the king summoned you or whatever, and you can go recruit your, your grumpy dwarven neighbor as, like, a party member, and then there's, like, an elf and some other people, and you, you just, you just kind of walk around this, like, big open world. I barely even remember anything of it. Um... But it had, like, kind of the most basic user interfaces, because this is barely... I mean, this is a DOS game, so it's not like they really had a whole lot of, like... I don't think you even did point-and-click. Um, let's see, is this the right one? But the, uh... The... Where Quaff comes from, specifically for me, was, uh, anytime you needed to heal yourself or use a potion or whatever, you had to do slash Q potion, brown potion. And that would drink the brown potion. And so I, I remember Quaff very fondly. Uh. Um. 
Okay, can we craft? Silver, gold, platinum chain. Horse. Platinum mail. Uh, no. Huh. I mean, that extra, that extra defense is absolutely worth it. But no, the Meteor Arc Armor is actually not very good. Sounds like RuneScape, but more old school than the old school one. Yeah, I don't know. Someday I'll see if I can, uh, I can get my brother and uh, dad to help me find it again. Or maybe somebody will watch this video and let me know exactly. Because, yeah, if I could actually find that, I wouldn't mind doing, like, um... Let's see, didn't I need three plat for the guy that was on the east end of town? You know, you're right about that. Let, let's go give it to him. Wow, you did it! With this platinum, I should be able to get the balloon filled up. In return for your help, please take this secret detector. It'll alert you with a beeping sound whenever you're near a secret. Now to fix this electrolysis device. Okay, so that's actually pretty helpful. Um, But, uh... I wouldn't mind doing, like, a, a, a series, effectively, on all of the old games that I played when I was, a, like, a itty-bitty little kid. Uh, there weren't many. Like, I really didn't start playing video games seriously until, uh, until high school, when it actually became available for me. Prior to that, I was pretty much stuck playing Diablo, whatever games I had on my, uh, my handhelds. I had a lot of Game Boy games, admittedly. But apart from that, not a whole lot of other ones. Okay. We're good to go. I've got a billion high potions, so... I don't think I'm perfecting this one. Nor do I care that much. Nope. There's there's no way I'm fighting this guy perfect. How the devil? I guess you're supposed to jump and glide over it. I'm just gonna Honestly, at this point. There's a very real possibility I'm just going to unga bunga my way through this game. Cuz yeah. Screw trying to perfect that one. That's not that's not worth it. That's not worth my time. It doesn't even look fun. Oh, well, we got the dark stone. There's, we still gotta find a light stone somewhere. And I have no idea where that is. I heard, like, a rumble. Oh. Let's try going up the wall in here. I'm assuming there's nothing in here, but it's going to drive me, um... It's gonna drive me nuts having parts of the map unfilled. You gotta go all the way up there. There we go. That should fill it in. Okay, well I don't see... I don't see anything that I've missed. Did you ever play the Grognak Pick Boy game in Fallout 4? Nope! Uh... If... If you remind me the next time we do a... Fallout 4 challenge, which actually... Is pretty likely, I wouldn't mind doing one, um... Assuming I'm not totally swamped when I come back. Uh, from my from my trip to Pax West, uh, I wouldn't actually mind doing one more uh, one more Fallout Four series, and I wouldn't mind timing that in. Honestly, it might also be one of those that I uh, I play a little bit of Fallout seventy six, and then we actually do the Fallout Four series then. Yeah, Shaman's Axe is his weapon, nothing special. Good to know, because yeah, I didn't I don't want to do that. We're just going to. Uh, yeah, high damage, fast speed, good reach. Yeah, don't care. I got daggers. I got daggers and an infinite supply of tonics. I'm just gonna kill things by chucking daggers up their gobs and we'll call that good enough. 
Anyway, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Kinda depends on what my schedule looks like and how good Fallout 76 is. Anyway, my hands hurt. I'm gonna go to bed. Night, everybody, and thanks for watching.